The New Mexico ACLU is calling out the Border Patrol after a high speed chase in southern New Mexico resulted in a deadly crash. The ACLU insists that crash was not properly investigated. News 13 Stephanie Chavez has that story. This video shows the moments a New Mexico state police officer showed up to the scene of a rollover crash in southern New Mexico last August. Hey guys, so who's uh, point of contact? Who's the guy that uh, first on scene? You can see the SUV is mangled. The ACLU says the crash along Highway 185 near Hatch was the conclusion of a miles long high speed chase. The driver of that SUV, Eric Mollix, a United States citizen, blew through a Border Patrol checkpoint, sparking the chase. The ACLU says Mollix did have undocumented immigrants in the car. So, where are you guys from? Uh, Honduras is the only uh, passport that I saw. No. Mollix and one of those passengers died after being airlifted to an El Paso hospital. The eight others suffered severe injuries. These two on the end were still in the vehicle. Everybody else uh, yeah, pretty much ejected. Rebecca Sheff, an immigration attorney for the ACLU, is now representing Mollix's family. They acknowledge that what Mollix was doing was illegal. Then they had gotten caught up with some wrong folks, may have made some bad decisions. He didn't deserve to die. But she says the crash could have been prevented. These high speed chases undertaken uh, with little regard to public safety, with little regard to the harm that might be caused. On top of that, Chef says the investigation of the crash is flawed. The concern that we've raised here is that Border Patrol has these in house teams called critical incident teams that aren't independent, they aren't impartial. In fact, their job has been to make sure they minimize the risk for Border Patrol agents of being brought into court when things like this happen. In the body cam footage from the crash, you hear one of the Border Patrol agents mentioning that team of investigators. Um, our critical incident team's coming out. They'll do all the kind of crime scene stuff. We're not crime scene, but critical incident scene all around, and right. statements and all that. We can share that statement with you guys if you guys need it on your side. Chef says they're hopeful this will spark major change in Border Patrol policy and have outside agencies investigate these kinds of crashes. Stephanie Chavez, KRQE News 13. In May, Border Patrol announced they would be dismantling the critical incident teams by October to, quote, ensure our agency achieves the highest levels of accountability. We reached out to the Border Patrol for comment on this case. We did not hear back.